Carl and Lou here from Games Brains and Headbang Life, GBHBL.com for sure. And it is track by track time. Making a debut on this series? I think they I think this is the first one we've covered of theirs. So. Yeah. yeah, it is Paradise Lost, and we are covering the plague within. The 14th! You heard that right. Mm. 14th studio album by the British Gothic Metal Band, Paradise Lost, the legends. That is Paradise Lost, released the 1st of June 2015 in Europe and the 2nd of June 2015 in North America by Century Media Records. Guys, I know we all know this now, but a real clue how to stop piracy Just and shit. Release it on the same day. Don't make it a day between. Yeah. That's troublesome. Yeah. This album, of course, shows the band returning to their deathy doom roots. Mixed with elements of the gothic metal sound they are most known for. Of course, Paradise Lost have had a... Uh, uh, up, I don't want to say up and down career. Well, yeah, it's an up and down mm. career in regards to styles mm. more than anything else. You know, there was a period of uh, Paradise Lost that isolated and, you know, pushed away their early fan base. But I think nowadays they've kind of found their, their jam where they mm. sort of sit. They can live within the Death the Roots. They can mix more gothic metal in. They yeah. can be more expansive when it comes to effects and electronic and stuff like that. Paradise Lost, uh, the legends for all the good reasons. I really, really do like them. Weirdly enough, I actually think I like them more live than I do often on record. Yeah, you I, know? I, I get that. We've seen them a couple of times now, haven't we? We have, we have. And in fact, as of the time of recording, we will be seeing them at Uprising in Leicester at the end mm. of April as well. Well, mm. end of April? Is it end of April? End of April. Right, yeah, April. It is, yeah, it is. Yeah. I was like, why am I thinking May? But it's because there's other things going on mm. in May. Mm. So, yeah, we are going to cover this one. And this was a good choice. You chose this, and it was a good choice mm. because uh, although I was aware of Paradise Lost, I had never really listened to an album in full until this came out. Mm. And I listened to this album in full. And then we would see Paradise Lost doing a couple of songs at an award show for a famous yes. metal magazine and they actually it was around the time this got released mm. so they actually played um songs from this album mm. one in particular that i remember quite significantly i think i remember is it the i think it was no hope in sight i'm okay. pretty sure they, they played that i'm pretty sure but yeah uh, I, well, it was an alternative lives that me, uh, of lives that I remember the most uh, mm. from that, but it might have been both. But anyway, yeah, we begin with No Hope in Sight. Mm. And I love this as an opening track. It's moody, it's dark, it is nasty sounding. All of it stepping into chaotic locales. The chunky guitars and those melodic vocals are delightful. I have heard this track live mm. and it kills there too. Mm. It really helped get me into this band. I was really enjoying this. Great start for me. Mm. Yeah, I thought... Um Heavy, mournful, but not dreary or dull, mm. which I was a bit kind of concerned about. Well, of course, you hear Death Doom, you're thinking, good be. God, yeah. Yeah. Um, a great opening, it's powerful. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'm on board now. Yeah, it's a great start. It really is a great introduction to this album. And um, if you'd been following Paradise Lost Career up to this point, and maybe you're waning on your opinion of all, I think this one might have brought you right, right back mm. into it. Terminal. A bit raw and certainly a bit nasty. This one has an angrier sounding rhythm as the instruments hit that bit harder and the guttural vocals are particularly scathing sounding. No complaints for me though, it's a beast. strong start intense and heavy and the gothic lyrics and cleaner sound add a, adds a nice balance mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i think that's why i pre i think that's what i'm enjoying about these it's kind of like gothic well gothic metal but well right now i think they're leaning really really heavily towards a heavier side yeah. of music which yeah. makes eternity of lies the following track and a unique slice mm. of this pie we get dramatic violins at the start. Mm. Then we have a guitar joining in and the drums begin to become more obvious, mm. beginning up in the tempo, becoming more volumatic. Before this track descends into doomy gold, and it's the perfect example of Paradise Lost's incredible ability to mesh gothic metal and doom. The vocals are immense here. I mean, mm. he, he, yeah, Bob is an immense voice. vocalist at, regardless. Uh, I can listen to this track over and over again and not get bored, which is really rare mm. thing to say when you talk about this style of music. Mm. Yeah, nice gothic piano somber, st somber start. I really like the crunchy drums and guitar in the middle. Part of me wanted more piano at the end, though. Okay. I kind of wanted it to lead out with piano. It just kind of like ended. I'm like, oh, what more? The, the nitpicky. Yeah, it was very nitpicky. Punishment through time. A walloping example of heavy riffs and crunchy percussion. This is leaning right into the Death Doom sound and it slays. The heated tempo is headbanging gold. And even when it switches, it stays immensely heavy. Mm. It feels a bit in flames like, so I appreciate in flames might have got some inspiration from these guys. It felt there's a bit of in flames in there for me. 
But I feel like Infamous probably got their inspiration from these guys. Being I'm, not, I'm not going to say you're right or wrong. I don't feel that. You didn't, you didn't but hear it. no. Um, I like the pacing in this one. Fast with breaks and sounds so well put together. I hope to hear this live. Yeah. I feel like this would be a good kind of. I think because if you're playing, if you're playing like a festival set, I feel like you're going to play faster, more yeah, energetic like, potentially. Yeah. More, like it's not going to. It's not like a record set, like an album, whole album. I, set, I feel like so this one, would... yeah, in a live set could be sandwiched in between two doomier tracks mm, yeah. to kind of g the crowd back up during yeah. that section. Uh, Beneath Broken Earth. The longest track in the album are over six minutes. This one is all about doom instrumentation and scathing death-infused vocals. Deliciously dark and dank. Undeniably intense and really mood-affecting. This is one of the more grueling tracks on the album, but it rewards your investment by simply being spectacular. Hmm. Slowing the pace down on this one. Slow guitars, yep. dark and gothic, but it never feels Doomy. boring. Doomy. Yeah, never feels yeah. boring. It always holds your attention. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Sacrifice the flame. There's those violins to pour somewhat much misery on. But when the guitars, drums and vocals hit, it gets even more depressive. One of the doomiest tracks of all, and with that, one of the most despondent sounding of all. A nice blend of melody, clean singing and pounding heaviness makes this overall another phenomenal track. Yeah, I, I love, love this. Yeah, I love violins. So yeah. every time they're in, I'm like, yeah, because it leads, it leads to more, like it leads to just more and more of it it's like a wave of it so i do yeah i, I like say like the peppy ones but i like this one where it takes it really back to the doominess yeah it. i think yeah. it's i don't want to you know i don't want to play down the quality of this track but if you want straightforward doom in this album this is a, this is as close as the straightforward doom as you're gonna bloody get yeah yeah victim of the past the vocals are immense here yeah. unsurprisingly a track that has a lot of atmosphere and cinematic elements to it giving the doom grander life but also enhancing the deathier tones of this track. It's another good one. Mm. I love it when it kicks in guitars, drums, violin, cello. It's epic. So heavy at parts. And these vocals sound evil and dark. It's like one of my favourites. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Flesh from Bone. The faster tempo shift of this track means it sits in the old school death metal camp. Which is not something I expected to say. It is a surprise. But delightfully refreshing at this stage of the album. Especially as those moments are weaved in and around doomier death moments mm. i put brutally heavily i like the really like the choir again you know i like a bit of a choir it's kind of like it's what i like from cradle of filth okay and sometimes when you're like nicer vocals i'd prefer this see, okay I'm, see where i'm coming from like the gothic elements i don't see where you're coming from but oh, it's your opinion no. yeah in, in what i i get what you're saying you, i like the, the cleaner gothic of... moments of cradle of filth that perhaps have uh less savage vocals yes and I'm uh, kind of like, yeah, of okay, course. yeah, yeah, it sounds demonic. I was really involved in that one. I really liked it. No, I get it. Mm. A penultimate track, Cry Out. Similar to the previous track, but a bit more abrasive in places. This is one with some excellent guitar rhythm. A headbanger with death dominating heaviness. I thought it was a nice solid track, but it wasn't one of my favourite ones. So I could take it or leave it. I think maybe, again, my... I don't know, I'm... Oh, I'm talking a good word. No, it just, wasn't, just didn't stand out for me for this one. I get that. Mm. I will kind of use my notes as an example. This track and the finale have my least words said. And, yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of... Not because I think it's... I really enjoyed them as well, mm. but maybe because I've kind of run out of steam here in regards mm. to what I'm hearing. Uh, Return to the Sun is the finale. It's a big finish that drips in dark and gothic atmosphere, delivering immensely impactful doominess, scornful heaviness, and leaves you feeling cold and desolate. Mm. Um, I love the intro. It's like an epic film score. And you want the final, al the final track to do the album justice. Mm. And I feel like it encapsulates everything they wanted to get from this album. Yeah. So, yeah, really strong closing song. I think it is a strong closing song as well. Mm. And I think it's a strong album overall. Yeah. I struggle to find much to criticise here, really. Mm. Um, I can't even talk from a perspective as a long-term yeah. or hardcore Paradise Lost fan because that's never been who or what I am. Even now, as much as I enjoy them and I've enjoyed the latest release and stuff like that, 
Um, I couldn't really say, oh yeah, I'm a huge fan of them. Mm. Name 10 Paradise Lost songs. No, I'm not, I'm going to struggle to do that. Oh, was I there back in the night? No, I bloody, you know, no, don't be crazy. Um, elements like that. But when I do listen to them, I often always come away really, really having enjoyed them. And it's very much the case with this full album. Yeah. I think it's great. It's probably the album I'm the most familiar with uh, of theirs. Yeah. I think the reason I did pick it was because of Uprising and like, yep. well, it's kind of... Cover something, yeah. Yeah, just kind of just dip my toe a little bit and go, mm. oh, I might want to go back a little bit. And uh, yeah, I can enjoy right. it. Top, top three. Yeah, top three. You can go first with this one. Uh, no Hope in Sight, yep. Victim of the Past and Return to the Sun. Okay, we've only got one... Similar, oh. uh, which is no hope in sight. Mm. I also have alongside that an eternity of lies and mm. sacrifice the flame. So a nice little selection for you there to go check out. Mm. Uh, clearly no hope in sight might be the one to particularly yeah. focus on as we both chose it. Yeah. It is the plague within. Paradise Lost 40 studio albums. You got any thoughts that you know what to do? Let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please help us out by giving us a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button. If you really liked what you saw, consider donating to keep the website and channel running by buying us a coffee via our coffee page or picking up some merch from our big cartel store. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as via our social media, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. As well as listen to our interviews via SoundCloud, Apple Music and Spotify. Just search for GBHBL. Games, horror and heavy metal. What else is life for?